The Honolulu Rail Authority is sharing their work milestones and what the future looks like. Dallas Ontiveros joins us from outside the Aloha Stadium station with more details. Looks good out there, Dallas. Good morning, Christine. Oh, it looks amazing when you just see it in person. I've already seen it come by about two or three times already since being on here on Wake Up Today, and I just want to hop on there. But it is almost happening. And here joining us on Wake Up Today is our friend Lori Kaikina, who is a professional engineer and also the CEO and executive director of HART. Good, Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So I know recently there's been a few trials happening. When did that start? August 29th, we started. And down the road, I know there's going to be some utility relocation. Necessary to help build the guideway. Correct. Do you want to explain that to our viewers on sure, what that means? Sure. So we're doing utility relocations in downtown and along Dillingham Corridor. So there's two different contracts, but the public doesn't care about that. It's one big, massive project of utility relocations going from Middle Street all the way to Cook Street. So the downtown corridor is a little bit more ahead of schedule. We just gave notice to proceed to NON, our contractor, for the Dillingham corridor. The downtown corridor was is Coluccio. And so they're doing potholing and jet grouting. Jet grouting is just because the water is right there, the groundwater table. We're putting a concrete walls so that when, when they start digging up the trenches, the water doesn't infiltrate into their trench. So the, um, it's going to be painful. I keep saying that, and I apologize up front for the community, but it's a necessary evil. It's going to protect our utilities and allow the, the guideway and station to come through. So there is informational meetings on it for the downtown corridor. That's Frank V. Coluccio. It's the second Wednesday of every month at 6 o'clock. We're starting the Dillingham one, so it starts next week, Thursday. Thursday at 12, but just go to honolulutransit.org for the link and we'll get you over to those community meetings. That's happening October 28th. Residents and business owners can go to those community meetings where their voice can be heard. But can you mention about the downtown work that we can expect down the road? Yes, so the downtown work, Coluccio right now is doing potholing and jet grouting. And we are going to start moving utilities very shortly within probably the next couple of months. So the traffic is going to be diverted. We are working very closely with HDOT to see if how much we can shut down Nimitz Highway to in order to start relocating those utilities. All right, well, Lori's still going to be hanging out with us for the rest of Wake Up Today, giving us more progress on what Hart has been doing. And if you want some more information and also related stories that we've been following, you can visit our website at kh12.com. Reporting over here at the Aloha Stadium Station, take a look at it. Dallas Anaveros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. All right, thanks for the heads up there, Dallas. 6.37 right now. Coming up next, Chris will have another live look at the roads and those drive times if you're heading to town. And you think new smartphones are expensive? Just how much someone was